Are you ready for a Baccarat Rouge 540? Killer. Hey Fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have a video that has been a long time in the works, I've been trying a lot of fragrances out, and that's a video on Baccarat Rouge 540. Killer. Now for those of you wondering, the theme song was from Killer Instinct. <laughs> love that game, especially way back when, but I love the new game too. Now I have a playlist of others in this Killer series, where I talk about kind of uh, fragrances that can kind of overthrow maybe the original one. You can go up here to see a playlist of those videos if you Want. Now, Baccarat Rouge 540 has become kind of one of those scents, really kind of made waves in the niche world, especially, but there have been fragrances that kind of have copied it uh, in some ways. Maybe they've lifted some ideas, maybe they've outright copied it, or maybe they've just kind of taken some of the themes, adapted it to their own ways. I think it's really interesting when a fragrance gets so popular or makes such waves that others copy its success. Baccarat Rouge is one of those game changers. But I have a bunch of fragrances that I've tried that apparently are trying to uh, dethrone Baccarat Rouge 540, and some that are alternatives, some that are cheaper, and maybe some other twists and turns down the line. Uh, some people might not like certain aspects of Baccarat Rouge 540, so I'm going to offer some maybe alternatives that have maybe a couple of different uh, directions that they go in, but kind of retain some of the heart of Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, BR540, as it's affectionately abbreviated, has been one of my favorite hype beasts recently. I just really love the kind of mixture of sweet and woody and musky. It's just kind of the perfect balance of all of those. And it kind of doesn't go in one direction. It kind of stays at this perfect tension between all of those things. It's become kind of its own thing. I really like that. There's this kind of interesting thing in astronomy called a Trojan point. A Trojan point is this thing in astronomy and physics where a planet will go around the sun and at certain points in its orbit, are kind of these neutral points, and they'll get stuck kind of in these gravitational eddies, as it were, of places where they don't necessarily go to one body or the next. They just kind of sit in its own orbit at certain points uh, around the orbit of a certain celestial body. So the Earth has certain Trojan points uh, where there's a couple of asteroids there, and we try to send some uh, satellites there as well because it'll just stay at that Trojan point. Now, that's a little bit nerdy talk, but the reason I mention that is because I think that Baccarat Rouge 540 is like a Trojan point of fragrances. It's kind of this point where it doesn't go in one direction or the other. It just kind of sits in this own spot. Uh, of gravity, and certain things are just attracted to it by itself. Now I have a full review of Baccarat Rouge 540. If you want to go see my full thoughts, go up there. And I have another video where I talk about it compared to two of the comparisons that people were making, Kalan by Parfums de Marley and Mansara Instant Crush. I'm going to mention those today too, as well as some other ones. So yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540 is great, but let's talk about some alternatives or maybe even some killers that might be able to dethrone Baccarat Rouge 540. Now the first is just the Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Straight. Now the X-Straight is a stronger version of the original one. Francis Kirkjohn, or as I used to call him, Maison Francis Kirkjohn, <laughs> created two fragrances uh, for his house, and he actually created them for Baccarat, and they made kind of this very limited perfume that was in the Baccarat crystal flacons, and it was extremely expensive. And then he re-released it for his own line in the regular version and the extrait version. The extrait version is a lot stronger than the original version. Because of that, some of the notes seem kind of shifted in a certain direction. Now, with concentrations, what you'll find is the smell actually can change just based on the concentration of uh, the ingredients. If you change nothing but just the concentration, the smell can actually shift in a certain direction with the notes. So I don't exactly know if the notes are precisely the same for the x version than they are for the regular uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 version. But the x does smell a little bit different. It smells a little bit deeper. And what I get mostly is a more salty, even more musky version of the original one. It retains that core of Baccarat Rouge 540, which is that interesting, sweet, woody, musky thing, but just enhances it, and it's a lot stronger. Consequently, it's a lot more expensive too, so that's one reason why people probably wouldn't like it. But I would say if you like Baccarat Rouge 540, but there might be something that doesn't jive with you, maybe try the X-Straight version and see if you like that a little bit more. Maybe you don't get that much performance out of the original and you want something that's stronger. The X-Straight version is a much stronger version that retains a lot of that core essence from Baccarat Rouge 540, 
but this enhances some of the other qualities about it. Maybe you really like Baccarat Rouge 540, but you might want maybe a slightly cheaper version. And this is one that I'll recommend as a cheaper niche version. That is a number four, A Pre L'Amour by Thomas Cosmala. And this one is very similar, I find, to the original Baccarat Rouge 540, but it's $175 for 100 mil, which makes it a great deal for what you get here. This is no bargain bin fragrance. This is no drugstore fragrance. This is a high quality niche fragrance but it smells a lot like the original Baccarat Rouge 540. There's gonna be some drinking game where you drink every time I say Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> It's very similar to the original one, but it's a lot cheaper per mil, and it offers you more juice than the other one does, which I think the original one is 75 mil, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is 100 mil, so that's really cool by itself. Now, it does have some subtle changes, so it's not a one-for-one -one replica, but I think that if you like the original one and you want maybe a slightly cheaper version, but still has the same level of quality, definitely check out number four, A Pray L'Amour by Thomas Cosmala. I really like this one a lot. Highly recommend it too. Now, if you're a fan of smoke and you like smokier, darker fragrances or more daring fragrances, then this is one that I would recommend as more of a daring option. And that one is Kalan by Parfums de Marly. Now I know, I know, it's not exactly the same as Baccarat Rouge 540. I got that in the comments a lot. <laughs> and I admit that it definitely is not the same as the original Baccarat Rouge 540, but it's in that family for sure. It has the sweetness. It has the muskiness. It has that same kind of toasted sugar type of quality that the original one has. And this is no exception. I find that this has that kind of smokier, almost ashy type of added accord in here that really works well with this type of fragrance. And it changes it from being kind of something that is casual, maybe date, to this is more formal and more daring. And that's really interesting. And so if you want something that is like that, definitely check it out. This is another one that is a niche fragrance that is very high quality. And I really high, highly recommend this one a lot. Like this one very, very much, Kalan. In some ways, I think this is like mixing the original Baccarat Rouge with uh, maybe Leighton Exclusif. Leighton Exclusif had that kind of ashy, almost green uh, woodiness in there. And this one has a similar type of thing that the Exclusif version had. And so if you were to mix those two together, I think you would get something that smells a lot like Kalan. And so for that reason, I can highly recommend this as more of a daring option, smokier version, Kalan by Parfums de Marly. Now, if you like Middle Eastern fragrances or maybe floral orientals, I would definitely recommend Instant Crush by Mansara as that type of fragrance. Now, this is another one that I mentioned in my comparison video uh, previously, and it's not exactly like Baccarat Rouge 540. Definitely goes in somewhat of a different direction, but it still has kind of a same vibe to it and feel to it with that sweet sugar note as well as the woody note in there as well. This is a fragrance that when I first smelled it reminded me a lot of Baccarat Rouge 540. It just had brought back one of those memories of wearing Baccarat Rouge 540, but it adds to the original Baccarat Rouge. But on top of that kind of Baccarat Rouge heart, it adds kind of a floral oriental type of overtone with amber and florals and oud and rose. It's very sweet to a fault maybe. And some, some people might think that about Baccarat Rouge as well, but it's a very interesting fragrance. And I think it's a great alternative to Baccarat Rouge 540 if you like floral orientals. Now, if you're a gourmand lover, then I would definitely recommend the more gourmand version of Baccarat Rouge, and that is Navitus Absolutio. I hope that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and that is the Navitus line by Stephen from Redolescent Fragrances. This is a great, great fragrance and one of my favorites from the line. I'll have more about this line coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. But as a little teaser, uh, Absolutio is very much in the Baccarat Rouge kind of genre, but it is more of a gourmand version, which I think is really interesting because Baccarat Rouge had kind of that sugary, almost gourmand flavor. This one goes more and leans in more into that direction, but you don't get the Baccarat Rouge kind of heart until the very end. At first, it almost smells nothing like Baccarat Rouge. It's a spicy gourmand with boozy notes and fruity notes, and it's excellent just at the start. But once it dries down, that Baccarat Rouge kind of heart comes up and you really feel that kind of sweet uh, woody note that comes up from the original. And I find that this really does it well. You still kind of get the original Baccarat Rouge, but with more of a gourmand influence. I really like this. I think that the accords that they put in this 
really lend well to this type of blend, and I just cannot recommend this enough. I think the choices they made really add to the Baccarat Rouge kind of accord, and it makes it almost like Baccarat Rouge Plus, which is really cool and interesting. So yeah, definitely check out Absolutio by Navitus as a gourmand option. Now, if you like boozy fragrances, you want maybe more of a cocktail type of version, I would recommend this, uh, Saint Julep by Imaginary Authors as a cocktail version of Baccarat Rouge. Now, this is a fragrance that has gotten a lot more traction lately as an alternative of Tobaccarat Rouge 540. I hear it mentioned a lot, and I can see part of it. Um, this one definitely has the sugary, kind of almost woody quality that the original one has, but it leans in more into that cocktail type of thing. With uh, It has mint and tangerine and bourbon and uh, sugar and that kind of thing. It's a great fragrance. One of my favorites from Imaginary Authors by itself. This is supposed to be reminiscent of a mint julep, and I don't necessarily think it smells a whole lot like uh, Baccarat Rouge, but I think that you can see the, the comparison there. Definitely is a little bit of a, a familial connection there. I don't know which one came first. I think this came after Baccarat Rouge, um, but yeah, definitely an excellent fragrance that you should check out for sure. At any rate, even if you don't like Baccarat Rouge, check out Saint Julep by Imaginary Authors, or check it out because it's a cocktail version, like I said. Now, kind of going on the coattails of Saint Julep, I'll also re recommend uh, Sunset Riot by All Saints. Sunset Riot is kind of the cheaper uh, Saint Julep, and it's similar to the original one. It also gets compared to Baccarat Rouge 540, I find that it smells a lot more like St. Julep, but it's cheaper. There's not much to say about this that hasn't already been said about St. Julep. It's weaker than St. Julep. It's not as strong, which kind of says something by itself as St. Julep is a weaker fragrance already. But this is $80 for 100 mil, which is a fantastic value right there. So if you maybe didn't want to spend the money on St. Julep, though I still think that's worth the price, definitely get Sunset Riot by All Saints. It's a great alternative for a cheaper price. Now that's all the fragrances I have for this right now, but I've tried a lot more. Let's go into some fragrances in a bonus round of fragrances that are often compared to 540, but don't smell anything like 540. <laughs> First, Ariana Grande Cloud. Does it smell like 540? No. It's cheap and it smells cheap. <laughs> it smells like cocoa butter and shea butter mixed with cheap coconut and burnt plastic. It is not a good alternative to Baccarat Rouge 540. It is very cheap, yes. But if you want a cheaper alternative, go with All Saints or go with Thomas Cosmala. It's not that cheap, but definitely go with those if you like uh, Baccarat Rouge. Ariana Grande, not a good fragrance. Stay away from that one completely. Next is Burberry Her. Now this is one that I saw in Fragrantica often compared to uh, Baccarat Rouge. And I don't necessarily think this smells like um, Baccarat Rouge at all, though it does have kind of a sugary note in here and is very sweet. But this is a very good fragrance by itself. It's a really interesting strawberry type of fragrance, which is not a fragrance note that's used a whole lot because you have to kind of get there by artificial means. But it's a really good kind of interpretation of strawberry and a floral scent on top of that. It's an excellent fragrance, I think, by itself, but not a good Baccarat Rouge scent but it is sweet. <laughs> Next is Bond Number no. 9 Greenwich Village, and this one is not like Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> this is another one that I got from Fragrantica, often compared to Baccarat Rouge, but not really. It's, a, it's one that's very weird, one of the weirder ones by Bond Number no. 9. Definitely not one of their hits, I think. It's kind of like a reworked Bleecker Street in some ways. It has kind of a strange greenness about it, kind of likable, kind of not likable. <laughs> It has a kind of hairspray note and a kind of woody, musky dry down. It's interesting. I don't necessarily like it that much, but it is interesting. But it, it doesn't really smell like Baccarat Rouge 540 at all. Um, I don't even get the sweet note that is easy to kind of compare to Baccarat Rouge. I don't even get that. But it is unique. So check it out, I guess. And last but not least is Dior Rouge Trafalgar. And this is one that is a very good fragrance from Dior. And this is part of their uh, Maison uh, Dior collection or the Privé collection as it was used as it used to be called. This is very good, very fruity and sweet. Uh, there's black currant and raspberry. There's even like this blackberry type of accord, which I really love. I really like this fragrance a lot. It's sweet, fruity, and musky, but it doesn't smell anything like Baccarat Rouge 540, though it is often compared to that. I don't find it comparable at all. Um, I don't even find it to be in the same sweet realm. I find it to be sweet, um, like sweet fruit, but not hyper sweet like Baccarat Rouge 540 is, and definitely not in that burnt sugar type of thing. Doesn't have that. But it is sweet and fruity, and I really like it. I really want some. So, 
definitely check that one out for sure. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. So that's all I have for the Baccarat Rouge 540 Killers. How many times did I say Baccarat Rouge 540? I have no idea. <laughs> a lot. What's your favorite? Do you like Baccarat Rouge? Let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite alternative? Let me know down in the comments as well. And don't forget to smash that like. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Supreme victory.